Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can get all three starters of Pokemon Red and Blue. Now, I searched up a lot of videos on this topic, and I didn't really see much about it. Mainly because I guess not very many people have done this before. I don't know why. But first, you gotta create a name, and get to the lab. Then, you choose your starter. Or at least, the first one, that is. I decided to choose Charmander as the first one, because it was the first Pokeball. You can choose any starter, pretty much. You can nickname them, you can do whatever you want. Um, names don't matter for pretty much anything. Except for the final name you choose, which will be on the next, on the third starter. Then you save your game, and then you cre then you reset. And create another new profile. Anyways, once you're back in your bedroom, you quickly try- you gotta try to save your game and reset at the same time. As you can tell, I don't have any Pokemon on me. So then, once you try to save, you gotta- you gotta reset at the right time. This is why having an emulator is so great, because it's a slowdown feature. This makes it a lot easier in order to, um, well, find the right timing. Because the timing is very difficult. I was able to do it on my first try three times, but then, when I was trying to do it on my actual playthrough, <laughs> uh, nothing worked. I couldn't get it for like a solid hour. Yeah, that was rough. Um, so you gotta do it at the right time. Once you do it at the right time, which I'm gonna have to show you, you gotta do it as soon as you um, prick yes and then reset. However, if you do it qu too quick, you have to start a whole nother new profile. It's pretty annoying. And emulators like RetroArch, which save your game without having like a .sav file, um, are just really difficult to work with, because if you do mess up, then um, it's restart a whole new one after getting a new starter. But anyways, that's how you get Charmander. I'll show you how to get Bulbasaur, although it is basically the exact same thing after you get um, Squirtle. Squirtle and Bulb. So then I chose the Pokemon Squirtle. Because the order is Charmander, Squirtle, then Bulbasaur. Um, yeah, then you, use it, then you get Squirtle, which is good. Great. Pog. <laughs> oh boy, a second, this tutorial thing. Yeah, you basically, you basically do the same thing as before, um, in order to get Squirtle to save to your final. Same with every starter, although, the last one you pick up will be the starter for your journey. So, I just recommend doing, choosing your one that you like the most last, for me in this case it's As you can see here, I think it's a bull And that's how you pretty much get all three starter Pokemon. Um, without using PJ Hex or anything. Um, as you can see here, all three of them are there. 